So in this video, we're going to go over how to install custom integrator plugins for RenderMan Studio. And there's a couple of steps involved. So step one is setting your RMS script paths environment variable. And what we're going to do here is we're going to set our environment variable, RMS script paths, to a directory where we have a bunch of these files, RenderMan for Maya.ini, RenderMan.ini, a bunch of our plugin uh, SO files. Um, so th those are our actual integrator and material BXDF plugins and a couple of UI files. And we'll go over these uh, in detail in the video and we'll take a look at what they look like inside uh, and then where they sit. And RenderMan is going to actually automatically find all these files because it actually looks for this RMS script path. So it's kind of like a reserved keyword. So once you set that, it's going to find it automatically. So that's kind of like the, the most important thing is setting that RMS script path environment variable. And on Linux, you would just type export RMX script pass and then put your path in here. Uh, it's going to be obviously a bit different on Windows, so you have to set your environment variable. But in OS X and Linux, that's what it's going to look like. And our next step, inside of RenderMan Any, we're going to take a look inside there. And we're going to replace basically that your path variable with a full path to the directory that contains our plugins. And in this case, once we've set our RMS script path, so it's going to be the same one. So we'll just see how we're going to use that environment variable and there's actually no default location for renderman.ini you just have to tell renderman where to find it and you do that by creating this ardor variable so there's a lot of like variable setting pointing to certain script files that are expected but we'll we'll kind of organize that in one uh, big script file we're going to set everything up so we just have to run one script and again on Mac's mac and linux you just do the export ardor and it's got to be Ardor exactly like that to wherever your path is. And finally, for step three, we're going to do our, for RenderMan Studio and Maya, we're going to do a modification on our RenderMan for Maya.ini file. Again, we can see that up here. And inside, we're going to just replace our path with a full path to the directory that contains declare underscore RI options .rman and grid RMAN. Again, those are in here, and all these are going to the same directory, even though those are different steps. And we're going to place that RenderMan for Maya.ini in our local MyScripts directory. So there's a factory version of it, as we'll see, but we're just going to append to it with our extensions. And if the file already exists, you can append to it, or you can place just your cu customizations in RMS script paths. So um, let's just jump in and actually do this from scratch and see what it looks like before setting these uh, uh, settings and then after, and then we can load in. The whole point is loading our custom integrators and BRDFs into RenderMan Studio. So let's jump in and do that next. Okay, so first let's take a look at just if we run Maya uh, without any settings uh, that are custom. We're just going to run the factory Maya. So I've got like a Maya terminal here that I've run in OS X. So I've just gone into my Maya directory, run Maya terminal, or you can just run Maya um, by double clicking on the icon. Um, so here we can see it says welcome to the Autodesk Maya 2014 shell. That's if you run the Maya terminal, which is just an application inside your Maya. So if I do which Maya, it points to 2014. If I do which PR man, which is um, render man, I have nothing set up. I don't have any render man um, attribute set. So let's run Maya. So we've got Maya, we've got render man studio uh, loaded here, but it's just like the factory settings. We haven't modified anything, just run Maya out of the box. So if we run our render man controls here with this menu, we go into here and we look at our sampling and our integrator. So with this, these are the factory integrators. So our goal of this video here is to get our custom integrator loaded in here. So we're going to have our lollipop shaders integrator. So we want that to come in the menu and we want it to work. Um, so it's not only getting it in the UI, but we, we want Maya and RenderMan Studio and RenderMan to know exactly where that is, both on the sampling and the interactive render. Um, so it's not in there, so we want that. But we also want to be able to load our custom BXDF materials as well. Uh, and what is that going to look like? Well, if we take a look at Hypershade, and we've got RenderMan Studio loaded here. If we go into our base materials, we can see the factory BXDF materials that RenderMan ships with, as well as um, the base materials and the LM materials. So we want our custom materials as well to come up here because we're going to make custom BXDFs. How do we install that? How do we get RenderMan Studio to like bring it in the menu, but also how does it work in the render? So um, we're going to take a look at that. And this is our factory setup. So it's just got the defaults. Um, so we're going to go ahead and quit that. 
and we're gonna go into our Maya terminal and just to show where we're gonna go is I'm just gonna type source PRman 19 setup and that's a script I've created so we just type that once and we're gonna go through the step by step but now if I go which PR man now it knows um, where PR man sits because I've set up the RMS 19 module and I've pointed to that here and I've done a whole bunch of other environment variables so if I do env grep RMS it's gonna do RMS it knows about this RMS script paths that we're gonna talk about in this install video it knows about ardor which is where renderman.ini file is which we're gonna talk about in this video so once we just do a fresh terminal we type that source PRMan19 setup and now I'm gonna run Maya and it should have not only our custom integrator um, but if we set it up correctly also our material uh, our custom material so let's see if that is the case so I've just run that one script file again we're gonna go what's it what's in that script file step by step here and I'm just gonna load up my render man controls and under sampling we're gonna see our lollipop shaders integrator in here and under IPR we're also going to see it in there. So what's in that magic script file? Uh, well, there's a bunch of stuff and we're going to go through that in the video. So let's quit Maya and let's go into our finder. And the key here is I've got a directory called RMS script paths PRman19. And that happens to sit on my OS X Macintosh HD in my own directory under a directory called RenderMan. But it doesn't really matter where this directory is. And it doesn't matter what it's called. I'm calling it RMS Script Paths PRMan19. The important thing is that we just reference this directory and we have these files in there. And what are these files? They're declare underscore riOptions19.rman, which has the interface to our integrator. These SO files are compiled versions of not only our integrator, which is made in uh, C++, but also our custom BXDF lollipop shaders material.so. So that's what the SO files are. And that's all you need. There's that one file. That's the actual integrator. That's the BXDF material. And we're going to put that in this directory. We also have our renderman for maya.ini. Um, that's a file that ships with renderman. So wherever your renderman install is, you're going to have one of these and it's going to have a whole bunch of stuff in there. But our, all we're concerned about is just adding a pending to that file. So we're going to add a couple of things. So RenderMan's going to load up that RenderMan for Maya.ini in its own install directory. But then we're going to say, look in this directory, and by the way, add this stuff in here too. And then there's also RenderMan.ini. That's not a typo. There's no A in there. GUI.RMan. And then LSMaterial.args. And these args files, um, they're the actual... Uh, UI user interface parameters for your custom material so they're pretty important to have in there as well so there's a bunch of different files in here and as we just saw we set all that up with just this PRMan19 setup.sh file so what is in this file so let's load that up and here we have renderman for maya.any that we saw in there PRMan19 setup.sh and a bunch of these other files. So let's go step by step through here. So prmin19.setup.sh, you can do these manually inside your terminal by typing export, export, etc. But I like to have them handy in this file. Um, so first it sets up the RMN tree. So it just points to RenderMan Pro Server 19. You don't need that to install custom integrators, but I do that. And then the RMS tree as well, which points to RenderMan Studio 19. And then it appends those to the path so you can run from the command line. You can run things um, like running PR man or running compiling shaders, etc. But the important thing here for the installation of the integrator and other things is this line right here. And it's export RMS script paths. And it's going to point to that RMS script paths PR man 19 that I have here. Now, this is an internal variable for RenderMan. It's like a reserved keyword. So RenderMan actually looks for this. Like you're not defining it anywhere else. You're just saying make it into an environment variable. Export RMS script paths. And we saw when I did um, env grep RMS. So I'm just grepping the environment, all the environment variables. Here it is, RMS script paths. So RenderMan actually looks for that. 
So if you don't have it set, it's going to just run its factory settings like we saw in the beginning of the video. It's going to run Maya. It's going to run RenderMan. Everything's going to work fine, but you don't have it in your custom stuff in your pipeline. So if you set this variable, now RenderMan is going to look in this directory, and it's going to find RenderMan for Maya.any. So it's going to look in there. It's going to look at your settings. It's going to run them. It's going to look into, um, it's going to be able to find your custom integrators that we've provided here or any of the custom integrators that you've created. It's going to look at this renderman.ini file automatically and it's going to apply those settings. It's going to look into gui.rman, all this other stuff in here. So just by defining that, you're telling renderman, look in this directory and all this stuff that you're used to looking for in the factory settings, read that in and append it to the settings. So now also we need to set we need to tell renderman where this renderman.ini file which it also has in its own install but we're going to do some overrides on it so we need to tell it where to find that so that's this variable called ardor so that's another environment variable that renderman looks for and I'm just it doesn't matter where it is whether you're on linux windows wherever this directory is you just have to tell it where to look, Ardor. Renderman's going to be like, Ardor, okay. So it's going to find renderman.ini and it's going to add those things to it. So I've also just loaded uh, a readme.txt file that ships with uh, all our custom integrators and our material files. So let's go through the steps here, and these are the steps that we also saw on the slide. So in, in renderman.ini, replace your path with the full path of the directory that contains LS integrator dot so or dll on windows in our setup file we've pointed to renderman.ini that was the first step so like what are we doing with this renderman.ini so let's go in here and here i have loaded the original renderman.ini so if you look at the directory it's all the way applications pixar renderman pro server except renderman so that's the factory install so it's got a whole bunch of stuff in here but let's load in our custom one so remember it appends this so we're going to put that down here and in our in my text editor I can see that it's in a different location so all we have is one line settings commonly customized for a site so standard rix plugin path so where are our custom ris plugins so here you can see our man tree lib rix patterns we've defined our man tree as we can see up here so that's why we defined it um, in our in our script file here so it's reading that but if we go to the very end, we have this thing. These are all the factory ones, and we're going to do colon, and then we're going to do dollar sign, open bracket, RMS script paths. So that's all we're going to do. And what does that do? It's saying look in RMS script paths. Well, what is RMS script paths? Well, we've already defined that here. Remember, that was the important one. Look in this directory. There it is. So now that's where it's going to find ls material and ls integrator.so okay so that's all you need in renderman.ini and it's very important it all hinges off of this rms script pass that we've already defined we've exported that that's an environment variable okay so what else does it say in the readme so there's no default location renderman on I and I have to tell renderman where to find it by creating the environment variable ardor done that this is how you do it expert ardor your path we've already done that in that uh and that sh file and replace it okay moving on step two in renderman for maya.ini replace your path with the full path the directory that contains declare ri options 19.rman and gui.rman okay we've got that we've got renderman for maya.ini where is that well the original one is in the factory install of renderman just like renderman.ini but ours is right here well what does that look like well it's got just a couple things in here Again, the original one with the factory installed has got a lot more. So we've done some stuff for RenderMan Studio up top here. But the important thing is, first of all, I'm setting the default environment key to RenderMan Studio 19 and PRMan 19. So this is just when you render with um, RenderMan Studio externally, it knows where to find PRMan. So it can send it to a local queue. It's handy to have, but it's not necessary for this install. The big deal here is setting this variable called local armander and it's going to do get env rms script pass so it's kind of circular here that's why this is the kind of red tape install video because you jump through a lot of hoops to get this loaded up but remember that rms script paths that we set in the environment well in here you're doing get env so it's getting that directory so in my case it's just this directory here where all our goodies are 
and it's just calling it another direct uh, another variable so it's called local armander and then we're doing that because down here we're going to go load extension args local armander ls material dot args so you need to load this ls material dot args which is right here and that goes with this ls material dot so and that just has your user interface information for our custom bxdf material which we'll see kind of later in this video when uh, when we load it up at the end there but it's got color specular whatever those custom argument um, or parameters are. So that's loaded and it knows where to find that. And then for custom integrators, we need a local armander declare ri options 19 and gui.armand. So here they are. And this is right in my renderman arm script paths. And it's basically the factory one, but we also write ls integrator here because we've added our custom integrator and here you'll notice VCM path tracer direct lighting simple path tracer so these are the factory ones and we've added ours here and here and throughout the scene this file here and then there's also gui.rman that it looks for and it also has some custom GUI options here so whenever you're at adding uh, extra user interface elements, you're gonna have to add them and modify them in this file. And we can see all the, um, the VCM and the different path tracing options here. And that's it. And then we're just gonna write log message info local render man for Maya dot any loaded. So that's gonna load up in Maya when we see when Maya is loaded. So those are the, all the different files that we're gonna put in here. There's kind of like a different smattering of things, but the simple thing is they're all in this one directory and we just run one script that looks them up and then renderman is going to go in here it's going to load up our arm script paths it's going to look at our renderman for maya.ini and then when we load maya like i already showed you once we ran that script everything is loaded so that's the setup for running your custom integrators inside renderman studio 19 the RIS mode in Maya, and um, shoot us an email at info at lollipopshaders.com if you have any questions installing our custom integrators in BXDFs. But even if you're doing your own and um, you're having trouble setting up, feel free to shoot us an email, info at lollipopshaders.com, and uh, we'll help you out. And um, you can get this all this stuff installed and running in RenderMan Studio, so you're good to go out of the box, and you just have to do this once. Um, and once you've got that set up, you just run that script, and then you're ready to rock. And just to summarize, we're gonna bring that slide up again so you can maybe take a screenshot of this just because it has the steps laid out and all the files that you need in there. So go ahead and take a screenshot of this one uh, and just to save as a reference. And again, any questions, email us at info at lollipopshaders.com. We'd be happy to help set this up for you, getting our custom stuff working, or if you're doing your own custom integrators or plugin, um, be happy to happy to help out setting that up. 